Well, hello there again. We meet again. That was bad. You may be right. I may be crazy. Time to talk, do a little different here. We're going to do a top four favorite sports movies. And when I mean sports movies, we're doing football, baseball, hockey, basketball, and wrestling. Um, we, we'll try to do boxing and racing on a different video. We're, so we're, we're trying to limit it here because this was tough enough already. I know I had a tough time. I'm sure you did too. Yeah. But uh, so, yeah, that's, that's that. those five sporting uh, movies. And this is going to be our top four. So, uh, as I've said before, let's dive right into it. Number four. Well, first of all, let me put, I don't know if I should put a disclaimer on this or perhaps it by saying that I'm not a sports guy. Anyone who knows me will say that no, uh, I know true. very little bit about sports. I'm talking any sports, with the exception may, may Wrestling. Be. You yeah, know wrestling. I, yeah, that's that's different, you yeah. know. Uh, sports entertainment. Sports entertainment. Okay. So for me, this was especially difficult, but I rolled with what I, the little I did know. Go with um, your gut. Uh, so I'd say probably for number four, I'd go off with uh, a film that uh, you introduced me to, North Dallas 40. Yeah, it's on my list. I, I love that film. Um, and it was about the real football players. Yeah, it was basically about how the game was played back in the 50s and the 60s. And, I mean, it was uh, no bones about it. It was a grueling game, grueling on the body. Uh, you know, obviously uh, reporting social media and stuff like that wasn't as, you know, as big as it is now. So they got away with a lot of stuff. And there was a lot of drugs. There was, you know womanizing things like that so it was a gritty tale about football back in the day yeah and i forgot what football players it was supposed to be about you would say basically be about the dallas cowboys yeah okay that's yeah. that's that's and i mean that's what i like i mean i read the book the book is a lot more graphic and a lot more darker and uh, i'll get into it a little more when i get into my top four but uh, yeah well as a as a cinephile as someone who loves cinema and film and, and actors you know I based it off that, there so I looked at it from that perspective, uh, and I said, Nick Nolte, one of my favorite character actors, leading man back in the day, actually, to some degree, Yeah. Um, and I, I just really enjoyed, that's what really uh, probably pulled me in um, for to, to actually watch the film, your suggestions, Nick Nolte's in it, and uh, I, I was really, um, and of course it had an ensemble cast too, I think the owner, the coach, was G.D. Spradlin, yep. and uh, people know a lot about his career. Uh, another guy who played usually authority figures, so I'm most of the time corrupt and mean-spirited. Um, but I, I really enjoyed it, and to me it did give a look of, and I didn't know a lot of that stuff, uh, how they played without uh, you know protective equipment back then. Oh, yeah. Got the tar knocked out of them. And uh, probably sustained worse injuries back then than they they might now. I don't know, but you know. Oh, without a doubt, yeah. 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 So that's that's my number four. Cool. I yeah, I agree. It's a little higher on my list, but again, we'll get to that when we get to it. My number four is The Wrestler with Mickey Rourke. I love that film when it came out. I've been a wrestling fan, you know, for as long as I can remember, and I'm sure we'll do videos about wrestling at some point. But uh, it was uh, kind of like North, North Dallas 40. It's a really gritty detail of wrestlers, especially in the latter part of their career. Um, the guy's not in a big company. I mean, I'm sure they didn't portray WWE in the movie. But, you know, he's doing independent shows. He's just trying to make it, you know, doing what he can to get out there, whether it's, you know, taking illegal substances or not. But, you know, Mickey Work knocked it out of the park. I mean, just an all-around great film. And then, like we always say, you you know, got to have a great cast around him, and he sure did have that. I, I saw the vast majority of the film. I don't know that I saw it all the way through. Well, at least it's, I only saw it once. <laughs> but, yeah, Rourke, um, I mean, heck, you could do a whole video series based on that guy's career, yeah. and personal life. Good uh, movies, bad movies, yes, in between movies. In between, man. And, uh, he really, uh, 
it was a career resurgence for him, uh, sort of like Robert Forster and Jackie Brown, maybe, or John Travolta in Pulp Fiction. The guy just, and unfortunately, his career plateaued once again, and he's... That's another video. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Great performance. Loved it. And uh, I... I saw it's my number four. Okay. All right. Um, number three? Number three, uh, and that was a tough one for me, but I had to... And it's not like I felt compelled to include every, you know, it's got to be a football and a baseball. But, but in fact, the way I'm looking at it, it's the way it turns out. For me, it's a basketball film. It's uh, Blue Chips. I've seen Blue Chips. Uh, to take a line from you, I've only seen it once. Uh, the first five minutes of it is hilarious. Um, and no, I, I can see why. Heck, a young Shaq and uh, Penny Hardaway make cameos in it, you know. Larry Bird. Larry Bird, you know, but I, Nick Nolte, great. Uh, that's that's about where I can leave it. <laughs> I thought he was uh, legitimately, uh, you know, yes, he was over the top, legitimately over the top in the first five minutes yeah, throughout yeah, most yeah, of the definitely. film. Uh, you know, and then you had J.T. Walsh as the guy who ran the <laughs> Friends of the uh, I love J.T. Walsh. Company or something. Yeah, yeah. Tragically, he's not with us anymore. But he could always play a play the play the sleaze ball, man. Yeah, uh, and like you said, Shaq, uh, his first probably his first film, film. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and he did well in that. Um, uh, I just think it was for me again. You know, I think I'd seen Hoosiers once, and I give a shout out to that film. Uh, because of Hackman and Dennis Hopper, a great basketball that. movie. Um, but yeah, Blue Chips is um, again possibly because of uh, you know. But Bob Knight shows up in that. He doesn't he does. the basketball. Nolte has that. Uh, well, he's basically playing Bob Knight. Right. Good kind point. Of, but yeah. yeah. So, okay. Uh, you did a quick shout out. <clears throat> it's not on my list, but it's definitely high up there. I got a quick shout out to Slap Shot with Paul Newman again. Love Paul Newman, love the things that he's done. Uh, great film, you know, kind of on the lines of North Dallas 40, but again, maybe a little more humorous. Definitely shows the fighting style in hockey, but quick shout out to that. It's not on my list, but it's definitely up there. My number three is Rudy with Sean Ash. Uh, oh, yeah. I love Rudy. Again, it's a character that I can relate to. And the more that I've read about the Rudy story, it's a little embellished. The guy had a little ability. Um, I think in the movie, the, the coach at the end was against playing Rudy or having him dress. That wasn't the case. He was a big fan of Rudy. So it was a little dramatized in the film. But I can relate to the guy, you know, trying to fit in, loving something to death, wanting to be a part of something, wanting to show his family that, you know, he's you know, part of something big, something that his dad really loved. And the turbulences of it that he goes through, loses his best friend, he comes home from school and his, you know, his longtime girlfriend is now with his brother and just all the deck stacked against him. But it just ends on a high note and true story, you know, he's, all, well, up until that, up until a few years ago was the only player to be carried off the field in Notre Dame history. And I think they've done it since then. I'm not 100% on that. But, no, it's just a great film, and it touches the heartstrings. Yeah, there there were times that where I used to watch it, it would have me tear up. Because, you know, I always wanted to be the guy that, you know, made the big play at the end and stuff like that when I played football. I didn't play that long in school, but it's a thing that I can relate to, and I'm a football guy. I love football, and I, I, I love Rudy. And Ned Beatty's in it. Ned Beatty is in it. Uh, I saw the film once. Oh, no. <laughs> I, you get I, so high and talk so great about a movie, and all you want is your, your co-host here to just slam it in for you. You allow, alley you it to him, and he just watches it go over his head. Yeah, what are they once. called, the Hail Mary Pass or something? It's not even a Hail Mary Pass. If I threw it to you, I threw you the ball in the end zone. You just watch it like, why are you throwing me the ball? I don't know what the hell to do with it. It's pretty much how I played sports. Only seen it once. Yeah, but, you know, I, I did enjoy it when I saw it. I like uh, Samwise Gamgee a lot. Uh, <laughs> don't you lose him, Samwise Gamgee. <laughs> I don't mean to. Don't. But that's another list. Uh, but yeah, I, I really did enjoy Rudy. It was it was a good uh, film. For the one it was time a good you saw uh, it. Defies, yeah, so he's just, it's he defies the odds, yes, basically. Yeah. Kind of like Rocky. He defies all the odds. Yeah. But yeah, that's my number three. Number no, two. Number two, Foxcatcher. Okay. I mean, it. yeah, it's wrestling. 
I think it focused a little more on the outside of wrestling, but yeah, it technically is a wrestling video, uh, movie. Uh, definitely an odd guy, <laughs> Fox Ketcher. Uh, the, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, man, you I've only seen it once. Sorry. <laughs> I love that film. I, that it's just uh, Carell's performance drew me in there. I, I, you know, Carell. I, I'm a fan of his comedy. I know you're not much of a fan of his. And to see him, I'll give him that. To see him turn on the dramatic role of that and, and sitting here, and he even said it, playing a guy with this big prosthetic nose and looking up and having this real weird dialogue, how he speaks and all this stuff, it was a gamble, and he pulled it off. So, no, I, I don't fault you for that. I I don't know where I'd put it on my list, but, no, for the one time I saw it, I, I enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, see, there you go. You know, I was rooted really years. Uh, he was a little better. Fox catcher, Sorry. but Ruffalo. Uh, yes. Channing Tatum? Yeah. Channing, Channing Tatum. Yeah. Who, you know, uh, against most people's reservations about the guy, actually can act, <laughs> uh, given the right role and script, the writing material. I, I just, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, maybe I enjoyed it for reasons other than necessarily wrestling. I, I yeah, he's right. I can't stand Carell. I can't stand him. I don't like this. <laughs> Sorry, comedy. Carell. He, he said that uh, what Atkins was after me at one point. Uh, Carell's coming yeah. for you, buddy. Yeah, him and Schneider and uh, the other guy, Farrell, the guy with the curly hair. I can't. Will Farrell? Oh, all right, no, look, we're going to stop because the, we're not talking about that. Right. The point is, is Carell. I, I I had no use for the guy, so I see the see the trailer, and after that, I start. I'm on my way to work every morning, and I'm trying to do an impression of the guy, imitate his voice, verbatim. It. Um, well, the syntax and everything, and uh, I just I love, uh, I love his uh, performance. Love the film. Okay, number two. Uh, that was your number two, right? Yeah, that was yeah. Yeah. All yeah. right, my number two is Moneyball with Brad Pitt, and uh, I I am a baseball fan, more football and hockey, but you know the way the story was told, it's it's based on a true story. You know, I know the story. And, uh, but just the way it was done. I mean, the dramatizing of baseball. Baseball is the most dramatic sport in all of sports. You know, it is a little slower pace and things like that. But some of the stuff that happens on that diamond is dramatic. And that story was dramatic. And you got a guy like Brad Pitt. Not a huge Jonah Hill fan, but he did a good job. Uh, I'll give him that. And uh, just, you know, some of the other minor characters that played players on that. And then Philip Seymour Hoffman is the coach. Yeah. I am a big Philip Seymour Hoffman fan and another actor that tragically is not with us anymore. Yeah. But, uh, no, yeah, Moneyball, definitely number two on there. Quick shout-out, another baseball film, Bull Durham. I enjoyed Bull Durham. Kevin Costner, Tim Robbins, Susan Sarandon. Just love the, the idea you got an aging catcher, young pitcher. He's trying to get him up to the big leagues. Yeah, de definitely. A little quick shout-out there. Well, I definitely agree with you on uh, Moneyball. Loved Brad Pitt and that. Just about anything he does is, uh, you know, cinematic treasure. Uh, yeah. You know, uh, but uh, who would have thought, you know, uh, another baseball, when you think you've seen all the sports films, everything uh, to be seen as been seen, you know, they came up with something that's a pretty decent original idea. And, uh, you know, no pun intended, he did uh, knock it out of the park. I thought he did a great job. Jonah Hill, great Gave great support, and obviously, yeah, Philip Seymour Hoffman. I enjoyed the film, saw it a few times. I own it. Hey, hey, hey more than once. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I can, yeah. All right. I'm on board with Bull Durham. Didn't care for it. But that's well, just that's me. just a shout out for me. Don't worry about it. Uh, so uh, now to the big point, our number one. Field of Dreams. Field of Dreams. That is, uh, was close, but it is about baseball. That's I the, yeah. think the more it's more about a father son relationship yeah. when you break it down. But yeah, the the gist of it is baseball, and you got Ray Loretta in there. Yes. You can't ever go wrong with Ray Loretta. Uh, Burt Lancaster's final performance as the Doctor. Yes, that was uh, great. You know, um, it. And again, yeah, I, I have to concede to that. No, I've heard a lot of complaints. Oh, Field Dreams, it's not about baseball. Blah blah blah. blah. Uh, personally, again, I'm not a sports enthusiast, so. I'm not going to argue any of that. All I can tell you is, as a film standing by itself, yeah, I thought it was, 
yeah, to this day, most people still go out if it's not if it's still out there. I think they still visit that baseball diamond. I there, think it is, but I think with things going on with the world, it may not be open right now. But yeah, at, yeah as far as I know, yeah, it was still open. No, that's that's great. Uh, James Earl Jones, man. James Earl Jones, man, can't go wrong with him. Uh, dog and a beer. I yeah, still that dog line. and a beer. But uh, if I were to another quick shout out for a baseball film, it would be uh, Major League. Uh, yeah. The first one, not the second or the third one. Second one's okay. Don't forget it. Don't even bother with third. One. Quick shout out to the first one. Great comedy there. Yeah, you know that that yeah. But Tom Berenger when his career. Was Tom Berenger, Charlie Sheen present. before he really went nuts. <laughs> uh, you know you got Wesley Snipes, Corbin Burnson, Corbin Burns, James Gammon. Who the hell is that guy? I'm just kidding. But no, just yeah. Quick shout out to that. But uh, my number one, it's not Major League. It's uh, was on his list earlier. It's North Dallas Forty. I. I remember watching that with my dad for the first time, right when I started getting into football. Again, like I told you, it's just a gritty tale about how football was back in the day. See what those guys go through. And again, you got Nick Nolte, who was a leading man back in the day and could hold his own in the day. Yes. You know, you sprinkle some of these other guys. I, I don't know what they really did after that. I know Mac Davis, his co-star was, I think, a country singer. And he, he did a heck of a job, you know, and they based it, you know, the his character off of Don Meredith, you know, Mr. Cowboy. The, the guy said, five minutes. Yeah, uh, yeah. Charles Durning, was it? I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, you got you got some humor in there. It is definitely rough around the edges. It's an R-rated film, so I would not recommend it for kids. But, no, it's just great. And then you find out later it's it's about the Cowboys, and, I'm you know, I'm a Cowboys fan. So, and I read the book. Uh, the book is a little harder to read. If if the movie is rough around the edges, this takes it to a whole other level. I mean, there's a whole thing in there at the end that really takes it to a dark side, and I won't get into it. Uh, I'd say watch the film. If you're that curious to read the book, hey, go read the book. But a good, gritty football movie would be that. And a close one that i got to give a shout-out to, I just didn't put it on my list, is Remember the Titans, Denzel Washington. I was it didn't quite make my top four. We did a video top four, and I wanted to put it in there, but there's just a couple more that I like. But that movie I really enjoyed, and I don't want to hear it because you already told me you didn't watch it. So I want to see it though. Quick shout out to that. That that's another great football movie. Any given Sunday with uh, Oliver Stone directed it. That that's a little rough to watch. The only thing I love about it is Dennis Quaid, but that's another list altogether. But yeah. Quick shout out to Remember the Titans, North Dallas 40, number one. There's my top four. It's, it's good, you know. Not bad for a guy who doesn't really watch sports. I, you, you can't believe the kind of mental gymnastics I was doing trying to figure this one out. <laughs> hey, but you did it. There's our top four. Hope you enjoyed it. Let us know your top four. Leave a like. Leave, uh, don't forget to subscribe. And let us know your comments, you know. We get enough comments on our videos. We'll do a video just on the comments. Yeah. So just let us know how we're doing. Let us know what you think we can do better. And again, give us your top four sports, favorite sports video. All right. Till next time, I'm Jack. This guy's Joe. See you next time.